Alcohol affects people of different ages uh, for a number of reasons. If we think about young people, their brain's still developing. So that means that the effects of alcohol can be more intense or there's more risk of young people experiencing damage to their developing brain. And then if we think about older people, their uh, water content in their body is less and they may be taking medications as well. Our metabolism has a huge effect on how we process alcohol and that can be due to a number of different factors including genetics, gender, weight, how much we've eaten, uh, if we're taking other medications and also how much water we have in our system at any given time. As people get older their metabolism can have an effect on how they process alcohol. That's because they can weigh less, have less water in their bodies, their liver size can be smaller. And so all of these things mean that their ability to metabolize alcohol decreases. As a result, the effect of alcohol can be increased. When someone drinks alcohol, the process of metabolism involves the liver processing that alcohol as well as medications. And so the liver has a really important role to metabolize any harmful byproducts that are produced from drinking alcohol. When people are taking medications and also drinking alcohol, there can be a range of different effects depending on the type of medication and how it works in the body. We've written a resource called Wiser and Older and that's available on the DEN website. It's a really great reference to look at how those different effects work with different medications. But for example, some medications like benzodiazepines slow the functions of the body and are increasing the risk of people having an overdose if they're mixing those medications with alcohol. But Wiser and Older has a really great reference where you can check lots of different medications and how they impact if people are using alcohol at the same time. For example, if someone's using alcohol and also taking antibiotics, then perhaps the effect of the antibiotics will be lessened by that person using alcohol. If someone needs to access support for their alcohol consumption, there's a lot of options available in Tasmania. So that can look like, first of all, talking to your GP. Uh, and there is also a range of counselling and treatment uh, services. And Find Help Taz is a really great website where people can go and find that information no matter where they live in Tasmania. I think it's important that everyone knows about recommended drinking guidelines because they're a way that we can really stay safe around our consumption of alcohol. And especially for older people, what we know is often older people aren't so aware of these guidelines. And for people who are caring for someone, it's also really important to have this information and share this information just to maximise and look after our health. Australian recommended drinking guidelines were revised and released in 2020. And those guidelines have been looking at the evidence in terms of how do we reduce harm um, to our health from drinking alcohol. So they've really looked at a lot of evidence around that to come up with these guidelines. And the first one is for adults. And that says that adults shouldn't drink more than 10 standard drinks in a week. And it's recommended no more than four standard drinks in any one sitting. The second guideline is written for people under the age of 18. And that recommends no alcohol is the safest option for people up until the age of 18. Thank you.